Hi guys, I'm here with another layout using the Summer Nights kit. So I have the kit in front of me right now, and I'm just having a, a look, a quick look at some of the stamps in the kit, and um, having a look through the paper. And this bright paper with the bands on it that look like paint chips, it really caught my eye, and I'm really wanting to use it for background, but that's going to re really challenge me because it's a very, very bold background. So I'm trying to think about what I can do to make the layout not be too overcome by the bold colors in the background. So I'm going to start by using a um, very uh, large mat. So this yellow paper is going to provide a lot of breathing space around my photo. And I also have a piece of Stampin' Up! waffle paper. And the last time I bought waffle paper at Stampin' Up! it was in the clearance bin, so I'm not sure if you can still buy it. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, but you can have a, have a look on the website for Stampin' Up! and specifically look in the clearance rack and see if it's still there if you're looking for some waffle paper. It provides great texture and it's a little bit translucent. You can still see my grid map behind it, for example. Um, so it makes a wonderful layer for this kind of a layout. I'm going to uh, just cut off most of the wood veneer on this Hello card and just use the Hello as, a, as an element that I'm going to layer, layer with my photo. And you'll notice that I chose that uh, striped paper and I just took a strip of it so that it so that I just get a swatch of each color. So um, you see it goes from red over on the left over to blue on the right. And because it follows the rainbow, even though it's a different manufacturer, that striped paper is from um, hashtag summer from American Crafts, whereas the rest of the papers on this layout are from the Good Day Sunshine collection from um, Simple Stories. Uh, even though it's a different manufacturer, because it follows the rainbow, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, it uh, it um, it provides some repetition with the pattern that's in the background, so that the background pattern isn't kind of, you know, the only thing that has those stripes on it. So now I just grabbed a piece of Stampin' Up! Grid paper. I use this, I used to use this all the time for um, when I outline just to make sure that if I went off the off the page it uh, doesn't get on my grid mat and I stopped using them for a while and then I just pulled one out just to use it. Um, I will often use my pieces of paper that I use for keeping track of my supplies uh, but it is smaller than 12 by 12 so it's a little bit easier to use one of these pieces of scrap paper. Uh, I did use the bold end of my Zig writer for outlining here and that's because I want my outlining on this layout to to be quite a bit wider than my typical outlining and again that just kind of balances off all of the boldness in the in the, the pattern papers here and so I'm going to use the same bold end of my Zig writer for outlining this yellow paper which I did tear so it has some texture on it that the other papers on this layout don't have and I'm even going to outline this one. I kind of thought about using the narrower marker for outlining this one um, but I decided to go with the bold. And now for this uh, frame and for this little uh, sticker, I think that's actually die cut that I had already stuck on something that's why it's already sticky. These are all from the Simple Stories collection. The, the these pieces here. Oh, the Ormolu, the, the flare badges from Ormolu. But I am using my more narrow marker for outlining the um, more detailed piece because that Polaroid frame has so many tiny stripes on it that um, I just thought that the bold marker would be too difficult to outline on the, the narrow parts of it. It would just end up turning black. So I wanted to be able to see the stripes. So I kind of put these these main embellishments together like this, and they're going to remain like that uh, until the end of the layout. There will be some small changes. Thinking about adding this striped paper, but it's just so busy. I love the striped paper, and I love the striped paper with that photo, but with all of the other things I've already chosen for this layout, it's just not going to work. So I'm not going to do that one. And 
what am I doing next? Oh yes, so so I'm looking for some thickers here and a part of me is thinking I want to use some bright, bright colors for this, but another part of me is aware of the fact that there's already so many bright colors on this layout that I probably just want to go with black. So the black stickers are at the front of my basket and that's what I'm looking for right now. And I have picked out these Amy Tangerine ones that actually they're the same font. I've got them in green and I've got them in black. Black. The black ones are glitter and the green ones are just plain unglittered foam. Then I also really love those red block letters too. I forget what they're called because I didn't end up using them. So I picked out the, that same font in black, white, and and green and I'm not entirely sure which one I'm going to use and then I have the red one picked out kind of as a backup just in case I don't like how it looks with the other uh, options. So I glued down that uh, waffle paper and at first I left it so that it was really kind of not very attached and then I went back and added some glue because it was getting a little bit distracting and I do want it to mostly sit down so got a bit of glue on my paper there so I'm just rolling it off with my finger and I'm sticking this hello in so that it's a little bit on an angle but so that I don't have a narrow strip of yellow between hello and my photo um, because that would be too distracting again when you're using when I'm using these bold colors what I like to do is keep the distractions down to a minimal so I'm very intentional about what I'm going to put on this layout uh, because it already has this really bright bold background and it's not such a busy background as much as it is just a bold background because it's just those, those wide stripes. So I'm using a combination of scales here. I've got the largest scale on the background paper and then a medium scale on that strip that I've cut into a banner and then the smallest scale is the pattern that's on the Polaroid frame. And I have decided to use the black letters. For a second there I thought about using the white ones and I just thought no that's just not going to give me the impact that I'm looking for. So I'm spelling out tilt a whirl. I forgot the W, the, sorry I forgot the H but I'll go back in a second and add that H. I just have I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. As soon as I look up I realize whoo that looks wrong. <laughs> um, so I'm spelling out girls in the green just uh, again that's more for interest than for any kind of like overall design reason. Um, there I go I'm going to add the add the H. And I'm making these letters go a little bit wonky, kind of up and down and tilted, just like the tilt a whirl is. So I'm trying to, you know, use the theme instead of using themed uh, embellishments, of which there are lots in this uh, in this in this um, kit. And here I decide I'm going to put everything askew instead of having it be um, on the, on the um, kind of on the horizontal like I was up until then and again that kind of fits with the theme of the tilt a whirl it's kind of crazy and wonky and it's all different angles in a very unpredictable kind of a way so although this kit came with a whole lot of carnival themed uh, embellishments I'm choosing not to use them even though when I saw the when I saw the collection I was like oh this is perfect for Canada Day because it's got all of these Ferris wheels and things so I'm just kind of making a template there for me to do my typing on and I'll be back with the typing right there so I just kind of with a pencil I very lightly um, outlined it and my typewriter doesn't have a well it has a dash but the dash doesn't work on my typewriter so I just had to go in with my marker and put the dash where I had separated a couple of, of words. Sometimes I'm not paying attention to where the edge is and my word almost goes off so I have to use a dash. I'd rather keep letters together or keep words together than use a dash for hyphenated words that you know are interrupted. Anyhow, um, this uh, this layout did have lots and lots of themed embellishments that I very well could have used, but I have this thing about themed embellishments where I don't want to use them on layouts that don't go with the theme of the embellishment, but then when I'm making a layout that goes with the theme, I tend to, I tend to kind of feel like, you know what, there's already a fair ride in my photo like I don't really want to put fair ride embellishments on it because it already has a fair and it feels like it's too much um, not everybody feels that way and and I love to look at layouts that have lots of repetition of themes and images and icons all over them but for some reason when I go to make one myself <clears throat> pardon me when I go to make one myself I just um, can't 
can't get into it, so I don't tend to use themed themed embellishments, even though I really, really love them, and I wish I could use them. Um, maybe that's a challenge I should uh, I should make for myself. So basically, while <clears throat> pardon me, I'm losing my voice here. Uh, while I was talking about all that, I basically just adhered everything down in the way that I had already decided. Um, so that's you know kind of pretty straightforward. And I'm just putting my my stickers down, my letter stickers. That is a piece of waxed paper that I use. I just keep a roll of waxed paper in my in my craft room. And here I'm running into a problem where those two eyes are, are lining up together. They weren't supposed to. I don't think they did the first time I had them on the wax paper, but for some reason they're it's just they're not going the way I want them to go. And uh, when you stick thickers to photos, ah, surprisingly, that's the one time that they stick. So thickers are famous for not sticking. But look at me, I'm here, I'm having to actually pick it off and use another L just to get my L nudged over a little tiny bit. So that's a little annoying. But I try to remember that when I'm putting thickers on stickers, on, on photos, is that, um, you know, they're probably actually going to stick when you put them on a photo. So you can't move them around quite as much. So here I have some embellishments out. I'm sorry I forgot to zoom out. I think I zoom out soon. I hope I zoom out. Yeah, uh, no, I'm going to stay in for a while. So um, you'll notice that I did a switcheroo with my flare badge. The Here I go. I'm thinking I need to put some of these themed embellishments on this layout because I've got them, so I might as well use them, right? Um, and I just can't get into it. So I'm going to put this little wood veneer, not wood veneer, but wood grain arrow here instead. And I did do a switcheroo with my Ormolu flare. There were three in the kit and I had originally picked a wood veneer, or not a wood veneer, a wood grain one. Um, and I and that's the that's the flare badge I'm just using right now that I'm talking about. I switched it out with this rainbow one, and again that repeats the rainbow theme. So I've got the rainbow on the background paper. I've got a rainbow going across that strip, and now I have the same rainbow on this flare badge. And and I really like that kind of three different places that I have the rainbow. I'm thinking about different places that I can put some uh, stickers. Uh, since I've decided against using the themed stickers, I'm going to use some of the general stickers just to uh, dress up my layout a little bit. And I'm sorry that you can't see what I'm doing over here, but I'm basically, I've decided that I need to draw a bit of attention to the beginning of the title. This is a really great place for me. I love putting em embellishment clusters around the front of my title because it draws your attention to the title right away and that arrow there it says fun um, that that blue sticker with the arrow on it is a, I love having arrows point to the beginning of my title because it just kind of tells you start here you know and and uh, with a lot going on on a layout like this um, it's a good a good thing to give yourself some cues for where to start looking at this I'm putting a little enamel dot in the center of the Sun and I'm also adding a little geo tag here. So as I mentioned before, I'm being pretty intentional and I always am, <clears throat> pardon me, I always am fairly intentional when I do these layouts with a very, either a bold or a busy background. I try to, you know, put lots of white space and in this case it's that waffle paper and the, and the yellow paper um, that provides a bit of, of kind of breathing space for the main elements of the layout and I try to keep my embellishments down to I'm gonna say a minimum now I don't, I don't know how I compare to other people's idea of what a minimum of, of embellishment is um, but you know everything that's on this page is on this page for a reason it's not there because I wanted to add more stickers or I was having fun and wanted to keep on layering sometimes I will do that and I'll just kind of be like oh this is so much fun I'm just gonna add 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 and it doesn't really matter because it's just one layout right um, in this case because it is so bold I'm trying to kind of rein myself in and say okay what do I want to add and why am I adding it so I'm adding these enamel dots because I want some additional a different texture and they provide that kind of shiny small little accent and I know I'm not going to do any sprinkling on this layout because I um, 
because I again I want it to be very intentional and purposeful with with all of the with all of the embellishments and I just think that that sprinkled mist uh, would just not have such clean lines as as what I was looking for for this for this layout so I am going back and using my Stettler Lumo color uh, pen and because it, it's good for slick surfaces and I'm just outlining some of the things that didn't get outlined as I was putting them on. I don't always outline everything um, and I didn't outline the wood veneer sticker because it had enough uh, enough boldness to it. Uh, that's the arrow sticker that you can't see right now but it's down by the title. So I'm just going to show you the close-ups of this layout now. Um, there's the little cluster by the beginning of the title and it's just a very minimal cluster but that arrow just kind of tells you start here and then um, another cluster here on the side of my journaling that says happy summer 2014 and then another little cluster up here um, to the to the right hand side of the photo. So Thanks so much for watching this week, guys, and have a really great scrappy week.